and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Sultai Yurok foods. All right, we're finally doing it. We're finally playing Yurok here in Throne of Eldraine Standard. As y'all probably know, I really liked playing a deck we called Sultai Treachery last format, you know, that focused on a very similar shell to this, focused on Risen Reef, um, Yurok, Cavalier Thorns, ramping up into Agent of Treachery in the late game. We had um, a big part of our deck, though, was Ravenous Chupacabra, and we were losing Ravenous Chupacabra, and we were also um, a Prime Speaker Vanifar deck, though, that we could, uh, you know, spend our, or like, you know, go up the curve with our different creatures as well. But, with, you know, with losing Ravenous Chupacabra, we really need to find some kind of hole for that, or like some something to fill that hole there. And so we got Wicked Wolf. That's our card that is pretty similar now you know wicked wolf gets to fight and it's only a three three so th that's not too good so you really need to have some foods to make to give this wicked wolf to really make it a strong card so if we need foods we need the best food generator in the format oko thief of crowns and so then we're also going with gilly goose that can generate foods as well so we got we got our food generation here to go with our uh to go in our Yurok deck now also have Vraska Golgari Queen, another uh, kind of Chupacabra-like card that can take out opposing Okos and other problematic permanents here. Um, to be able to fit, so since since we're playing Wicked Wolf, to be able to fit all these Okos in, um, we kind of moved away from playing cards like Spark Double and Neoform and Vanifar uh, to be able to fit these uh, these Planeswalkers like Oko and Vraska and stuff like that in there. Um, but we still have our top end with Agent of Treachery. We still have a find finality to be able to, you know, especially the find part to be able to get stuff back. Or if our opponent's going wide, we have finality as well. Um, and since we don't have Moldratha anymore, sadly, really liked Moldratha. But we have the Feasting Troll King. So this will be my first time trying out this Troll Noble <laughs> out. Um, and, you know, like the Feasting Troll King after your rock, that would trigger twice, so you'd make. Uh, you'd create six food tokens, so you could get tons and tons of food for Wicked Wolf to be really big. You know, you can keep on sacking those to put one one counters on it and everything. Um, and then if we mill over Feasting Troll kin King to Cavalier, we could <clears throat> bring it back from the graveyard if we're making foods with like Okos and Gilded Goose and stuff. I have a Garrick at the top end because this card's just really strong. It looks pretty cool too. And then of course our Agent of Treacheries. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, this, this, uh, ah, I'm sorry, SDN. So yeah, so this, this should be pretty fun. We got a bunch of Unmoored Egos in here for the Field of the Dead decks and for your Dance of the Man's decks and stuff. And then just some other various removal spells. Um, so yeah, let's, let's try out some Sultai Yurok foods. Let's see how it goes. First time playing Sultai in the new format. Our, our mana base is, you know, we got three. I'm going with three fours, then one each of Swamp Island to have two Fable Passage along with them, and then just, and then the four Watery Graves, and then just Green Duels. We got the eight Shocks and five. Um, five, whatever they're called. Tap Lands. Okay, here we go. I kind of wanted to fit Krasis in here. But I didn't find room for it. But maybe, like, the fourth Once Upon a Time should be a Krasis. Um, maybe the second Golgari Queen. Uh, we'll try it out. All right, well, this is what our deck's about. We're Sultai, and we're Yurok Foods. Tie your rock foods. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have the castles. Keep because you know one. We need a lot of green mana between like Cavalier Thorn and Feasting Troll King and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but I still wanted one island, one swamp to be able to fetch. Yeah, I'll take the Gilded Goose. I think that's a good play for next turn. Uh, yeah, we're not, we're just not a Thought Erasure kind of deck. That's really here. 
We're not doing too much thought erasure type stuff. So we're gonna play in about five matches today with our with our Sultai Yurok Foods deck here. No. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. It's not poison. Trust me. So Oko is is really rough against Yurok. You know, if I, if I try playing Yurok, they can just turn Yurok into a 3-3 that has no abilities. So that's really rough. Strange and magnificent world. Mm. That's that's unfortunate. Six power, they get to attack Oko now. So we have to chump with Gilded Goose. I think Gilded Goose would be, it would be, uh, you're new here. yeah, so you're saying it's if Gilded Goose, instead of having flying, had, like, the Paradise Druid Hexproof while untapped, I think it would be a stronger card. You're blind to your folly. I invite you to change your ways. So doing it like this so that Wicked Wolf can still block instead of because whenever you do sacrifice the food, you do tap the wolf. And so instead of fighting one of these three threes and then tapping, just kill the Paradise Druid and then we still get to block. This has kind of been my experience with playing against Wicked Wolf decks with Nyssa Krasis decks, that I'd rather just be on the Nyssa Krasis side. And so I haven't I haven't exactly seen why everybody's so crazy about Wicked Wolf instead of playing Nyssa Krasis yet, but... I think we're we're just kind of dead. Unfortunately, with Oko just cancels out. I mean, we don't we just don't have anything in hand. Unfortunately, good to know Rex that if we need to if we want to fight something and eat a food first, we have to use full control. Good to know.
surely you see the humor here. It's rough, but I think I'd rather Krasis be an 8-8 eight, eight than a 5-5 five, five with flying and trample. It's easier to block an 8-8, eight, eight, though. Gotta at least make it a 4-4 in this 3-3 world. Oh, dear. The land shall okay, Goose, Oko, and Wolf form the pillars of almost every mid-range Simic deck now. And, and what I'm saying is I think that's... I'm still not convinced that that's a good... I don't... Yeah, you know, like the, the Simic ramp deck that I've been playing and having a lot of success with doesn't have any w Wicked Wolf, and I don't think that I want, like, I'd, I haven't I haven't been scared of my opponents playing Wicked Wolf very much, because while it's kind of like this, like, while they're they're going Goose, Oko, w Wicked Wolf, I'm just going Oko, Nissa, Krasis, and Nissa, Krasis just is a lot more powerful. So basically, my, my point is, I think people overrate Wicked Wolf. Mm, people keep on talking about how great Wicked Wolf is. I think it's kind of overrated. It's, you know, I think it's kind of like, like it's, it's not, it's not a bad card, but I think people kind of forget how good Krasis and Nyssa are in Simic. And even, you know, a lot of people are like playing, they're playing the same kind of thing though, and they're like taking out Cavalier Thorns, but I think they kind of forget about how good Cavalier Thorns is also. Yeah, my your rock looks horrible against Oko here though. Well, pretty bad showing for our deck for game one. But it's just one game. Just one game. Let's see how we can do in games two and three. So we have... We got to get rid of Oko. Oko... Just annihilated me. And I didn't... You know, like they had Nissa that got to outclass Oko. I don't have things that outclass Oko. My my cards don't out, outclass Oko. These things don't. So let's let's have our Noxious Grass Assassin's Trophies. That's like you know we need our like Golgari Queen kill that Oko. Um, I don't know if Legion's End for the lands is gonna work too much getting like multiple lands. We have the fine finality, which I like that. What isn't good? What are we cutting? I 
I don't really want to cut your rock, but it, well, it wasn't good there. Hey, Kilo. Yeah, I also agree that Oko should have a minus ability, not a plus ability. Like, here should be plus two, minus one, minus five, but oh well. Yeah, Cavalier gets to be Oko'd. Guess this takes out Krasis. Alright, I'm gonna take out the the big the big green creatures for the removal spells. And there we go. What's up, space? Yeah, Legion's End could be good against the creature lands. It has, it's not necessarily good. You know, like there can be like multiple creature lands, you know, multiple different ones. You know, they could have like a, you know, a forest and a temple and an island and stuff like that. But it has, it has the upside to be good. Bataro, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. How has Once Upon a Time been? It's been pretty good. Maybe a little unnecessary. Maybe the Once Upon a Times would be better in Crisis here. I don't, you know, this is our, we just kind of started playing this deck. Ready to join them. I won't forgive this. They said I don't want them to be able to have Nissa next turn. Then they're probably attacking Paradise Druid into Vraska. Which should also slow them down. But yeah, I'm not too convinced on the once upon a times. So I could I could definitely see replacing those with something else. It's still it I'm kind of in like the play and see part with this card still. Lucky. I like sesame chicken. I would I would not play Golden Egg over Once Upon a Time. I think Once Upon a Time is a stronger card than Golden Egg. Revel with your like, king, wild and sovereign and free. I could see playing like two Crasis, so two Once Upon a Time. Ah, don't be surprised if we meet again. Gosh, they just take this card. Well, this is pretty disappointing how horrendous your rock is against Oko. This is really disappointing. There's just, there's just no way that this is good for me. Your new look is enchanting. I will protect the virtue of this world. Elements. That's so devastating.
Hey, Kingpin. What is up? Saying hello from Texas. The great state of Texas. Thank you so much there, Kingpin. Fortunately, my, my opponent does know about the agent treachery and gets to play accordingly. Hey, Corsic. Yeah, that's that's Stream Decker. In general, it's it's not working too well right now. Yeah, this looks like a tough matchup for us. Let's, our opponent's just going over the top of us. Be wary of the ground you walk on. This is just a tough matchup for us. And their hands were awesome, you know, having Oko, Nissa, Krasis, all right away, like. The, they had very good, um, very good hands to go along with it. <laughs> no, you won't air raid. I'm not a fan of a graphic tee. I don't, I don't like graphic t-shirts. Uh, <laughs> Oko doesn't work that way. You can't you can't take a six six with Oko. You can only take three threes or less. Your existence. Yeah, it's not CMC. That's why he, that's why he gets to steal your rock like it did earlier. For Sultai slash Simic, you either go all in on value or the ramp game. Trying to do both leaves you outclassed by the others. What is all in on the value game? What does that even what does that look like? What's mine is yours, and yours is mine. What like what what cards are you talking about playing in that scenario? Ranger. All right. Well, if, if our opponent draws like that, looks like our deck is never going to win that. Our deck looked pretty, pretty terrible for that matchup. I mean, aggressive creatures. So we'll get swamp. And forest with these fabled passages. Uh 
Oh, it's here. Okay, so a control deck. Okay, so you're talking about soul tie control. So yeah, that's a. Okay. <sighs> so you either have to go control or ramp. Where the land's at. So I guess I have to just turn that into a 3-3 three, three with Oko, don't I? I guess there's no black source over there. Maybe I don't. Maybe I can play your rock first. Mm. That's not good. Really wanted to hit lands. So I want to be able to play Cavalier and then Oko. We need lands. Yeah, turning any creature into a 3-3 Elk is pretty broken. Alright, so we definitely have to cast Oko this turn. Could risk it by playing Cavalier first, but we have to hit an untapped blue source with a lot of looks. Let's go these Cavaliers first. All right, untapped blue source. about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true I invite you to change your ways finality could be pretty good for us too <laughs> sorry drug wizard uh you were waiting to three to turn on the, the stream, but then we were doing the 12 hour today. Darn. Well, you're here now. You missed a really, really good one with the mono black value. We had a lot of good games there, and I really like that deck. That was, that's, I think, my favorite deck to play right now. I think we, we upgraded it pretty well from the last time that we played it. Yeah, like I'm liking that one. So manipulation can take two things. Your new look is enchanting. Hmm.
find something for you to dote on. Yeah, milling out's going to be a little tough. Like, you know, not milling out, it's going to be a little tough. Got 28 left in library. Thank you so much there, Dennis. Don't usually subscribe on Twitch, but your work is awesome. Well, thank you so much there, Dennis. I really appreciate that, taking your time to, to subscribe and everything over here. Number Sub number seven on the day. Tamiyo. It's not poison. Yeah, let me update that. Yeah, we hit two sub goals yesterday. I thought I updated that yesterday, but I guess not. I'll change that. Yep, looks like I did not change it. Maybe I didn't save it after changing. So there we go. We're at 2 out of 20 towards the next 12 hour stream after today. So, you know, they can activate Golos, but they can only play one additional spell because of fires. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Darn. I'm one short of playing this and then playing Agent of Treachery. Okay. 
I could be greedy and try to Risen Reef first. One of my top two cards being on tap land. That would be pretty greedy. I think a little merriment is in order. Our time together is finished. Alright, so manipulation can steal two things. We'll see what our opponent wants to take. Neither of us have lands for these Field of the Deads. Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, I do have eight different types of lands. So I'm good there. could have risen reefed i don't know if that doesn't really seem worth it to get rid of an oko just to turn a 2-2 two -two into a 2-3 i feel like oko is a lot more valuable than that it's kind of a waste of an oko there So I can I can have Oko turn the Sage and Treachery into a three three also, so I don't have to worry about um, it drawing cards every turn. But yeah, how I'm actually going to win this game, I'm not sure. I've kind of ran out of really big things to do. Exactly sure what I'm doing to win this game here. May we 
it again. Or not. No, I don't have a command the dread horde. I should take the Risen Reef. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, six. Enough of you. Yeah, maybe I don't have enough top end stuff. Like, maybe I need a, a Jace in here. Maybe I need to have my own um, Field of the Deads. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah we need Garrick to win the battle with the two twos. about me is absolute nonsense. Welcome to the feast. So even if there's a wrath, we can keep the wicked wolf alive. We got extra food. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm just being aggressive here. Need to end this before we mill out. Oh, that's true. It fights twice, so I don't need to sack that food anyway. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't yeah, so I guess I didn't need to sack that first food. Oh well. Good point.
There's not. Oh yeah, there is. Never mind. But yeah, not enough. So just enough mana for like a Kaya's Wrath. But there's that blue green land doesn't cast Kaya's Wrath. So probably Gates of Blaze. We might guess here. I has a wrath, but you have the blue green land. Just didn't auto tap correctly. So Veil of Summer would stop mass manipulation. Ugh. I think I don't want Cavalier of Thorns. I don't really want to mill over <laughs> five cards. I'll take out the Paradise Druid. We'll take out... Oko's good. I don't know if we need all four Oko's, though. Maybe we can trim an Oko. Rockion with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there. I appreciate that. Take out one Oko, one Wolf. This Feasting Troll King. I don't know. Troll King's kind of difficult to deal with. Take out a Once Upon a Time. A Leaf Kin Druid. And maybe the Troll King. I can see maybe I'm supposed to take out a Vraska. That was another card I was kind of looking at, but wanted to make sure we submit before the time goes away. We've had we've had troubles with that. Um, like me personally, probably playing best of three. I I uh, play best of three a lot. But as far as um, other people, you can kind of level up doing either. Um, I'll save the leafkins for after the risen reefs. I think my opponent is kind of struggling with colors over here by saying oops. Gotta get that zero in. <clears throat> no, Marif. Don't have black mana. Skyland. That's why I was worried about circuitous route previously.
could trophy this Field of the Dead. No. Double and Mordio down to the bottom. If we had done Mordio, I was probably going to name Faye of Wishes. Like, that's what I would have named with Unmordigo. Huh. Ego Agent of Treachery, I guess. Yeah, makes sense. There you go, Matthew. I like it. Yeah, I've had a lot of good games today. A lot of really long games. Do I want to ultimate Garrick? Probably not yet. Probably want to zero one more turn. I don't I don't think so. I couldn't kill their creature and ultimate Garrick. Garrick is six loyalty. You're not scared of dogs, are you? Sacrifices must be made. Time to die. But then our, you know, then our Garrick would have been gone. Also. Hmm. There's planar cleansing. No. So. Reset. No more fires of invention, at least. Something else. We couldn't have been allies. Maybe I should just mine. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should just minus Garrick to draw another card. Since I kind of have nothing over here. spells over there. 
I would prefer lands. There we go. That's good. Why do you cross me? Welcome to the feast. <clears throat> I think we're going to lose this game. Looks over. Could have turned the crisis again into an 8-8, and then I could chomp it with Leafkin Druid. But that could backfire on us. Making another food. If we draw like a Wicked Wolf, we can take out the Krasis. Or we also just don't die as fast as well. So I'm at 12 minutes. I've still got, still got some time. I don't really know exactly what I'm trying to draw right now. Kind of wish I didn't play my Vraska previously. Maybe that I minus Garrick. I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. Yeah, we're we're not really up against it on the time right now, so I don't I don't think I need to concede this second. I think we're okay. No tail should be discarded. Well, that was our best card to draw that into something else. That is not into anything else. So. Played Reef on three, it got Gates Ablaze. I played Reef plus Leafkin on four. I could have just played Reef and then negated Gates Ablaze on four and be able to have it alive Eight still and then and be able to five. drop double Leafkin. I feel like I could have done things differently that game. I feel like I could have done things differently. All right, let's see how game three goes. Of 
Gross. At least the good news is we know our bottom four cards of our library aren't any good. You know, just two land, two once upon a time. So we got, you know, higher concentration of good cards to draw towards the top. Like that. So many lands. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. <clears throat> All right, so we have three lands at the bottom that we know about. So that's nine of our lands. Already accounted for. Well, fires works well with Golos because you can just act. You can spend mana to activate Golos, but then yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, you only get to play the two cards a turn, so I guess they don't work perfectly together. Because yeah, you can only play two spells a turn. So then, even though if you get to play more free cards On spell. Oh my gosh. We just got nothing over here. Your new look is enchanting. Just got a whole bunch of nothing. All right, so ten of our lands are gone. We know about three lands down at the bottom. So there's only 14 lands in the next 43 cards. So about we're about you know two thirds to draw a spell, one third to draw a land. So we've hit land back to back.
surely you see the humor here. All right, well, that got some cards out of the deck. We got another two lands out of the deck, so there's... But that... Unfortunately, the, the worst part about this ego is it shuffles up the library. So, like, the three lands that we knew about on the bottom now get shuffled up. And so that hurts quite a bit. So now, you know, like, those can get shuffled back up to the top. And, of course, it takes two... Really good spells out of the deck. All right, so nine lands, 25. Oh, wait, we have 24 lands in this deck. There's only 13 left. Still have a really good shot of drawing spells. All right, we are halfway through our lands, Why right? I? I don't know. And Whatever. It's just too many lands. Gone. <laughs> no, we're not halfway through yet. Ugh. Yep, we flooding. I've had, like, no decisions this whole game, this whole match. Or, like, this whole... This game. Yeah, find would be, we would be good to be able to get the double Risen Reef. No, I don't really want to make the Fae of Wishes an Elk immediately there. Because then it's a 3-3 that attacks Oko. No, I don't have Krasis in my deck. I think I probably should. Games like this like make you never want to play the deck ever again. Where's our spells? Okay, there are spells in there. Somewhere. It's not good when the when you have just so many more lands than the Field of the Dead deck that cast Circuitous Route. We're still just sitting over here. Yeah, I could have stolen a Fey. It's a 1-4. It's a rather make a thing that gains me 3 life to help survive this crisis better. I don't think a 1-4 is very valuable. For me, staying alive from crisis, that is. Hey, we drew a spell. How about that? is fickle and fragile. We finally got... We finally got a spell. 
and it's a stupid one drop. Yeah, I can't I can't get their Fey and then put the Fey in my hand. I can't you can't put to your opponent's cards in your hand. It goes back to the owner's hand. Like if I would if I would steal it and then try to activate, the Fey would go back. Uh would go to their control. That is true. Now we're only one mana away from activating one color away from activating Golos now. With having a guild of dues. Sorry, I'm late. Might be a bad idea. <sighs> we did a we did a really poor job drawing our sideboard. You know, I had the three Vale of Summers, or sorry, sorry, the, the three, sorry, three Unmoored Egos in here. So which the Ego, you know, if we had Ego early, if we got to Ego, like Egoing away Fey of Wishes, would have been awesome in either of these two games. But alas, did not work. We drew more lands. If you look at all the cards my opponents played. All the cards we did. It's like Oko was the most expensive card that we had, a th three mana card. All right, let's put a couple of Krasis in here over two of these once upon a times. Let's try that. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. All right, I'm going to update our deckless command to have those in here. Well, that's sub number nine on the day. I was one behind. My bad, my bad. Thanks, SO. Thanks for the pick me up there. All right, getting rid of two of those. Two. Hydro Crisis. So we have a lot of mana. Do I have any top end in this deck? 
There's just all lands and mana creatures. Maybe it's just all lands and mana creatures. Maybe that's all there is in this deck. That could be the whole deck. I don't know. All right, Caesar, take care. Uh, thanks. Yeah, thanks, Caesar. Thanks for for coming in here, stopping by, using the your Prime sub, even though just watching them on YouTube. I really appreciate that. So I could have shocked for Gilded Goose, then I'd have to shock again for Leafkin Druid because I don't want to use the Goose for the Leafkin Druid. Hey, and tattooed Mormon. All right, we got another sub goal towards our next 12-hour stream in the books. I'm going to go mark it down. But I didn't really feel like double, double shock. <clears throat> Looks like we got a similar deck here, another Golos deck. All right, so we're at three sub goals hit, two yesterday, one today now, towards the next 12 hour stream after today. No, I was gonna do. I was gonna do just like the best of three. Like I think the the Fae of Wishes is for best of one. Um, we have had a couple people ask me about playing that deck, so I think I'll play that one tomorrow. Um, but for the Simic Ramp later on, I was gonna do like normal best of three. Yeah, resubs from Twitch Prime counts towards it. Yep, I I count the resubs towards from Twitch Prime towards the sub goals, just like normal. Yay. A top end card. I was going to say, we, we knew our bottom five because we knew those four from Once Upon a Time. We knew our bottom five weren't any good. Eventually, I have to start drawing stuff. Yeah, I mean it, it still yeah, it makes the counter go up quite fast. I mean, it's still just one, you know, one person subscribing for that one month. You know, you only get that once a month kind of thing. You know. So I count all of those. Cuz so I Still appreciate resubs a whole lot as well. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> yep, resubs are still subs. Leafkin looks so bad without Risen Reef.
it's a really slow format. There's not any games that are over quickly at all. It's a really, really slow format. No, We're four hours into the screen. This up as I go. <laughs> We've played seven matches in four hours. I don't think I'm getting through all these decks today. We're going to have to stop playing five matches, start playing less. This is what happens when just every card has like life gain attached to it and everything's two for ones the games just keep going on forever and ever yeah that's also true people learning decks and so playing them slower too well they have every single field of the dead well, that's great And by the way, no, that no, that is not great. I'm going to be casting Finality. I'm going to try to wait. I want to wait another turn, though, to cast Finality. Let my opponent get even more zombies in play first. Yeah, these all being Field of the Dead. Here we go. Field of the Dead is not a fast card at all either. I, yeah. What, attack with agent so yeah you're saying attack with agent they kill it then i get it back and replay it but then what let's say all of that happens how do we how do we stop dying how do we stop ourselves from getting killed by an army of tutus here you know if all that happened we just have to have we have to have finality. Maybe I need less mana creatures. I don't know. Like, all we're doing is drawing mana creatures. This sucks. Such a beating. I don't know, man. I just need more Agent of Treacheries. I need, like, four of them or something. Legion's End doesn't help. Just like this finality doesn't help. It's just a band-aid. All 
Our opponent has a machete over there. Us having a, a band-aid doesn't help. Legion Zen does not matter. Let's see. All right, we'll take out a Vraska, take out a Paradise Druid, Cavalier. All right, let's try this. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think, you know, we're starting to get more and more people Figuring out these Field of the Dead decks. If I had to just kind of pick something that's probably going to dominate in this format, I think it's going to be Field of the Dead. Eventually, once once people kind of figure, you know, really start to figure them out and everything, start to figure out exactly what to play in them. Field of the Dead is just too good. And they printed absolutely nothing to deal with it. And Throne of Eldraine, which I, which I was really baffled by. I, I thought for sure, like whenever we were talking about like the previews and everything, I thought for sure we were gonna have anti Field of the Dead cards in Throne of Eldraine. Alright, so field is out of here. We still have to deal with probably like Agent of Treacheries and stuff like that though. They have triple Golos. Bunch of Beanstalk Giants. Come on. Why is this not working? There we go. So one, two Veil of Summer, two Time Wipe, just two Krasis, just two of each of those cards. Why has everybody been so excited about this Wicked Wolf card? <clears throat> 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if we can beat three fives. We'll see. We'll see if we can beat three fives. I'd really like to draw your rock. That'd be nice. Can we draw your rock. We haven't seen your rock in a long time. Okay. Garrick works. You got a good head on those shoulders for now. Um <laughs> You cannot run or hide. That was a great draw step. Yeah. So yeah, we kill Golos. It just turns on like the other Golos is in their hand. They only need one more mana though to be able to activate Golos. But if I kill the Golos, then they're definitely going to get that extra mana because then they play a new one that goes and gets that extra mana. Yeah, the top end of our deck, we have two Agent of Treacheries. Uh, that Garrick there, we have two Krasis. Um, a couple of Yurok. The, we have a Feasting Troll King, but I think I sideboarded it out, I think. bunch of lands my axes. Unfortunately, it's definitely felt like with Sultai just going spell heavy, you know, spell and planeswalker heavy. Like we played with the Sultai mid range list a few days ago. Is a that's in a lot better spot than these creatures than than like Wicked Wolf, Your Rock, Cavalier Thorns and stuff, uh, because of like Oko shutting down Your Rock and Cavalier Thorns, and Wicked Wolf has just been very very mediocre. Much rather have Murderous Rider and other things like that. No, I, I haven't played an Aristocrats deck in this format yet. We had one good draw. That's all we get. 
We did have one good draw. But that Garrick was a very, very good draw. All right, well, there are, that's good to see. So there's there's the fourth Golos. Their other Krasis is gone now. I think they only had the two Krasis. I'm pretty sure there's only the two Krasis. Whenever we looked at the deck earlier, because we unmoored Ego away the Field of the Deads. My opponent's putting me to sleep for how slow they're playing. There we go. having the food in play I have to click you know accept all the stuff we are the apex predators so I can kill this Golos with a wicked wolf but then I don't have any food to sack to Beanstalk Giant. I'd like to be able to block Beanstalk Giant, which I think is fine. Four damage to them, put that down to eleven. No blocks. All right, we got them down to nine. Ugh, we get ruined by a sweeper. I don't know about that. have a backup Wicked Wolf and everything, and we get to ultimate Garrick now and everything. I don't think we get ruined by a Sweeper. We get ruined if they get rid of Garrick. That's how we get ruined. Boros Knights. Yeah, that deck looks pretty good. I think I'd rather have, like... I would think I'd want to take out some of the True Fire Captains. Like, 20, 
for 20 lands, it's hard gonna have. It's gonna be hard to have the four drops. I, you, I think you need to have all four venerable knights. At least take out two captains for two of those, and maybe play like extra shocks or something else like that. You're going to, have to be a little bit low. Like the four drops are gonna be tough. Hmm. Guess I'm probably supposed to play these negates. I'll take out two leafkins for two negates. Good, Matthew. Yeah, glad that those are working out. Yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't block if their plan was just a time wipe anyway, but oh well. <laughs> I take out, keep taking out mana creatures because we all we're doing is flooding out every game, and now we finally have. Our other spells. I should have cut down Wicked Wolves. That's what I should have done. I forgot our deck is a Risen Reef deck. I haven't seen those things in so long. Mm. Dusty! Aw. Thank you so much there. Hey, there's... And look at that. We got some luck. We drew a Risen Reef. Dusty bringing the luck there. Thank you. Ooh, and no land. Um, let's go Oko here first so that I can Reef plus Druid back to back. And I guess I would rather have Oko get countered by Mystical Dispute than Risen Reef. Also. Hoping there's not another Mystical Dis Dispute over there. And we get to Risen Reef plus Druid. Mm. Only have one blue source. Yay. Alright, well they drew their fifth land for turn there, because you know they didn't have it end step because they didn't put a land into play off Gross Spiral. Do they have Golos? They do. Hey, what's up, your rock? That's 
a good card. Our deck actually does things. We actually have cards that do stuff. Um... So I can either make a make a food and then try to minus five the next turn, or I just plus one. We know they don't have another land in hand. I think I make a food. It's not we know they don't have a land in hand to be able to just play land activate Golos. They'd have to top deck an untapped land to activate Golos here. Which isn't super likely, because they have a lot of... Even if they draw a land, they have a lot of tap lands. Hey, Zoltan. <laughs> I don't believe it. This deck can't possibly have cards in it that actually does stuff. Oh, man. It's been like an hour since we've had any cards that actually do anything. So my plan is to try to trade the food for Golos next turn. They do not have double white if they had time wipe. <sighs> there we go. Played something. What do we play? Beanstalk Giant. Now they have double white. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. I know our opponent is so slow. Yeah. Just play something. Anything. I don't care what you play. Just do something. Pass the turn. Play something. Anything you want. What do we want to do? Second main. All right, let's think some more. Okay, so cutest route. Seemed like a pretty obvious card to play. Don't know exactly why it took them so long. Okay, my turn. Hey, we actually drew Hydrocrasis also. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Eight, nine, ten. So we. Oh, did I just... Okay, yeah, no, I did that correctly. Okay, good. I found something for you to dote on. Yeah, it's definitely possible my opponent is just lagging quite a bit. Certainly possible. You got your stats email today? You've opened up 1,111 packs. That's pretty good. Can't open up any more packs now, because then we'll just mess that part up. Whoa, 
Oh, that was loud. That was pretty loud. exactly what I want to unward ego from their deck honestly I'm not sure what I want to ego do we I mean I could just hold up negate here of course as well and just let them draw a card which I guess I'll do that I don't I don't really know what I want so, yeah, last, they don't have Fae of Wishes. Last time, you know, feel, getting rid of Field of the Dead was, was really important. We saw they only had two Krasis last time. I could see saying Golos. I could see saying Golos and getting rid of the other three Golos. Um... Or, you know, that's the problem with, with saying Field of the Dead right now. They already have a Field of the Dead in play. To the they have they have two large creatures, but that's all they are, just large creatures. Uh, Oko gets to take those things out. They basically just had Teferi, Krasis, Golos, and Field of the Dead last time. So it's it's like those are like the only things. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Mm. It's unnecessary. All right, so uh, let's do uh, let's do Golos. Oh, now they have Agent of Treachery. They didn't have that last game. Ah, uh, I would have definitely named Agent of Treachery. Darn. So there's two Agent of Treacheries. Two crisis. All right, well, if we draw another one of those, we can name Agent of Treachery. Six, 
We're gonna do eight. Surely you see the humor here. All right, I'm probably going to be trophying that field of the dead, but I'm just holding up. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm going to get another activation, but I just want to hold up negate in case of wrath. Now I get another zombie. Yeah, we have, I have 12 minutes. I'm very good on time. Welcome to the feast. All right, let's fight that and that. All right, our Soul Tide Yurok Foods deck is doing something. Make it indestructible. Chomp. Chomp. Let's play a game of hide and seek. You're not scared of dogs, are you? Okay. Dogs versus zombies. The new dual deck. <laughs> Dogs versus zombies. Uh, do they draw Agent of Treachery? Their best card? I hope not. No. They drew their best card. Uh, why'd I have to play Garrick first? So it doesn't look like they want to take the 8 8 Crisis. Yeah, they're gonna take Garrick and kill Krasis. Bleh. Oh, I've had enough of you. Hmm. I get through to the crisis now. Need to draw my own agent of treachery. So we both have two agent of treacheries. So they have they have one left. I have two left. Right on step. Dear. All right, yeah, good to hear that, Matthew. That's probably too much attacking.
Yay. Goose, go to the bottom. I don't have time for you, Goose. I got time for you there, Risen Reef. Give me that. And... Give me this, I guess. Okay, <clears throat> still looking good for us. So they have like one Agent of Treachery, two Hydroid Crisis. Fires of Invention and Shared Summons to get Kenrith and the Green God. Next turn, play Kenrith and Green God. 20 power on the board. And then you get Haste and Trample. And Swing for Lethal. Food token. Don't have anything for that to grab. Fable Passage, I'm out of basics. Yeah, take, they had their one agent of treachery in their hand. So what else do they have in their deck? It's Beanstalk Giant, some Wraths. They really just have two Field of the Dead. And that's it. Two Field of the Dead, a couple. Oh, one Crisis. They kind of have nothing. Not to worry about decking, though. I should, probably should not have taken that Agent of Treachery. I should have just taken a zombie instead of their agent of treachery. I'm I'm hoping they kill my agent of treacheries, honestly. Uh, you can only fight creatures you don't control. I can't kill my own Asian treacheries. Yeah, I'm going to have to start elking these agents. Put on your true shape. So we draw six. Now trophy is only opponent control also. I can't I can't use trophy or wolf. I can't use either one. To kill my agents. 
I'll just start elking them. Hooray! We finally won. We finally won. All right, back to platinum tier one. Okay. I think that's going to be it for our deck here, even though that was only three matches. Those are just three incredibly long matches. <laughs> We're at basically five hour, close to five hours into the stream here. Yeah, that, that match took almost... Almost an hour. And the one before it, same kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, I really liked that we took out the two Once Upon a Time for the two Hydro Crisis. That was very good. That was a very good change that we made. I'll have to, I'd have to say that I'm still pretty unimpressed overall with Wicked Wolf. And I don't... It kind of feels like that just instead of going... You know, Wolf and then Feasting Troll King and even Cavalier. Like, we were just milling ourselves out. Maybe this needs to be a Jace deck if we're, if we're willing to do this kind of stuff. Because uh, that's that's one thing that, like, those, you know, like, those decks, those Field of the Dead decks, they're not really stopping you from, like, milling yourself out and then having Jace in play. They don't really have Planeswalker removal too much. Um, but uh, the three on Mordigo is a really good choice, for sure. That was a very good card. I wouldn't mind having an, another one or, or like, another Ashiok, even. It's starting to look like these Field of the Dead decks are really picking up in popularity, these Golos decks. And so, like, the more Golos we face, the more Ashiok we want. And, you know, Dance of the Mance and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, so that's, that's our deck. I... I'm not sure if, like, these creatures are, are too worth it, though. We saw, like, our opponent playing Oko, how it really hurt us. The other day we played, we had a donation for this Soul Tide mid-range deck. And I liked how this one played better, where we have, you know, more interaction here. Drown in the Lock was really good. And then we just have, you know, like, our top-end Planeswalkers that are really strong. And, you know, Murder Strider is awesome. Questing Beast doesn't get blocked by those 2-2s two and gets a lot of pressure on and everything i think i think i kind of want to work more in like this kind of soul tie with like thought erasure drown in the lock planeswalkers i think then yeah like like murderous rider has looked a lot better than wicked wolf for example but Yurok is still good you know like we as we saw like the like Yurok agent of treachery is still awesome agent of treachery is amazing like this was our best card in our deck was agent of treachery for sure. The card's still just amazing. And so, you know, if you get your rock agent of treachery as we had sometimes there, stealing two things is just incredible. The the feasting troll king should probably be a third agent of treachery for this deck. Because agent was just so important. But I'm I'm really glad that we had Yeah, like that should just be another agent. Really glad that we had the two Krasis in here instead of the two once upon a time. Um and yeah, I could see I could see trying to trying to throw a Jason here, maybe instead of a Vraska. But Vraska kills Oko, and we saw how weak our deck was to Oko. Probably over this Paradise Druid. Like it seemed like we had too many mana creatures. I know Jace is gonna be really hard to like Jace is gonna be really hard to cast on turn four. But you don't you don't need to cast it on turn four. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe just another crisis. Because yeah, it feels like if if we're playing if you're playing Jace, you probably need to play Tamio also. <clears throat> Tamio can get back your Jace if they kill it. Um, Tamio also helps your Jace out by milling over a bunch of cards as well. Maybe just another crisis and not that Paradise Druid. Anyway, there we go. Um, yeah, the problem is, is you may not have the Jace by, by the time the late game happens. But yeah, that's that's what you'd want is you'd want it for, for the very late game. But, you know, it could get Thought Erasured away or, you know, destroyed or, you know, anything else like that. 
But yeah, anyway, there we go. That's Sultai Yurok Foods. Uh, started off poorly for us, but started to pick up there towards the end. And I like, you know, Oko is really powerful. And um, so is, you know, your rock Agent of Treachery. Like, Risen Reef was awesome whenever we had it. We spent a lot of games there in a row where we didn't have Risen Reef. And I really liked Onward Eco, for sure, on our sideboard. Same with Ashiok. All right. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And uh, please leave some comments. Let me know what you what what you're doing with Soul Tie. Um, what do you think of this deck? If you're playing the deck, um, let me know how it goes. What's your strengths, weaknesses? Um, you know, what are you struggling against? What are you doing well against? And all of that kind of stuff. All right. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.